down to the end of the building and take a seat in front of the TV. Hi everyone and welcome to channel IRS. We starting week number nine of our record 90 SP3 where I trying to beat Fernando Alonso lap time which is 45.5 at Daytona Sandown Park with their D-Max go-karts. So just now, a few seconds ago, you've seen my practice session at Daytona Sandown Park with the best lap time 47.2 and uh, you know what? After my visit to Let's Race Simulators, I noticed big, big changes in my driving style. So I was, I was thinking, because first time I couldn't understand what feelings I had with that simulators. So it's, it's kind of something real and not real. So this week I decided to repeat it again so I think second time when you already know what to expect I think after second time I can tell you a bit more about feelings on these simulators so I'm gonna go and try it and after my practice session I'll let you know what exactly feelings you have when you drive one of these simulators It's Sunday and uh, week number nine of our record 90 SP3. So I decided that I need a time, I need a night to think about simulators, which I had yesterday, and about real driving, uh, which I had a practice session this Thursday. <clears throat> Um, when you're driving go-karts, uh, you have all feelings. You have a G-force, uh, you have an acceleration feeling, braking feeling. You feel the tires when you lose the grip, when you're accelerating and it starts sliding. All that information you can feel inside the go-kart. Uh, and of course, inside of uh, any racing equipment like a car, Formula 3, Formula 1, uh, any. Uh, simulator I would say it's stole about 50% of that feelings and maybe even more than that but what's very and very equal to the real driving this is the steering wheel steering wheel um, movements you know when you're driving through the curb the steering wheel reacts the same like in a real car uh, you need to put the same amount of power like in a real car so after 25 minute practice session on that simulators yesterday I've been really exhausted my uh, my hands my um, arms was aching you know and uh, steering wheel I found it very informative and very very realistic I would say it's uh, like the same what you have in the real life the same you have on simulators exactly the same so yeah this is what can I say you about simulator you know uh, it, it is it is very useful it's very professional and I would recommend 
and it's cheaper <laughs> it's much cheaper I'll be honest with you so this is my thoughts about this is my thoughts about simulator this is what I can tell you about simulator simulator yes it's good for your practice session it gives you lots of understanding about um, circuit about racing line even a bit of understanding about car which you're driving because uh, yesterday I've been driving two different cars the first was Ferrari the second one was a Mercedes Formula One cars and I'll be honest with you even even on the simulator I could feel difference in gear changing in braking and acceleration you can feel it yes um, you can understand it you know, you, you, you can hear that the refs is goes much quicker in one car than the other one, you know. So, yeah, my conclusion uh, about simulators that yes, it's worth that money and it gives you even more. It gives you even more, you know. It gives you a lot and a lot of understanding. But you know what? I decided that I want to know opinion of professional drivers what they think about simulators and about real driving so today I'm visiting very interesting place so let's go Right guys, so today I am visiting a very exciting and interesting championship which is called BMW Race Days, is the that BMW correct? BMW Compact Cup. BMW Compact Cup yeah. and just next to me Greg Graham, he is the main yeah. gentleman who organizing yeah, this, this event. The, the championship coordinator for this championship, yeah. Championship coordinator. Greg, please, can you a little bit tell me about the BMW championship in general? What is it? How is it yeah, appears? Um, <laughs> we, we, we have got probably one of the most successful club level um, saloon car championships in the UK at the moment. Um, all based on the BMW 318Ti E36 model. All of the cars equal performance, equal suspension, equal tyres. So. Um, the guys that are winning are the best drivers. Um, it's classed as a budget championship, um, which means the costs are quite low. We, we try to manage it so the costs are kept low. Uh, and you know, we've got some real good racing and the biggest, the biggest grid this weekend with 33 competitors. 33? 33, yeah. Wow, that's, that's a huge. Yeah, we had, <laughs> Especially we, for Brands Hajindi. Indy. <laughs> yeah, it's, the, the, the grid capacity is 34 here. Um, and we had 35 until yesterday. Someone unfortunately dropped out, or two dropped out, which l l let us, you know, f fill the grid, but, but not over capacity, if you like. So, can we tell that the BMW Compact Cup is a good step for the drivers, beginners, who, let's say, someone who don't want to do any more go karts and they want to move into the it's, cars? It's good for it's good for everybody. We we've got a lot of guys coming from junior go karting, um, first time in a car. We've also got some really experienced older guys, guys that have raced in Le Mans, British GT. Even um, in Le Mans? Yeah, absolutely. We've got guys that, through, through all levels of experience, that love the Compact Cup because it's so equal. Um, the, the, the racing's fantastic. It really is. It's uh, through the field that the, the racing is so competitive. Um, and what can you tell me about the budget? 
What 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 you yeah. have to let's say through the year through the championship, mm -hmm. what the driver should expect to spend. It depends on 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 how competitive you want to be. You, some drivers replace tires every meeting. Some drivers don't. They they wait till the tires wear out. Uh, in general, it's difficult to it's difficult to quantify an exact cost. Um, but comparable to every other championship in the UK, it's one of the cheapest um, to, to, to enter and to run for a season. The cars themselves, you can buy a real good ready-made race car for about £6,000. Um, and it's going to be good car for the championship. Yeah, because the, the, the cars are all evenly, evenly matched, evenly um, managed as far as regulations. So, yeah, you, you could buy a £6,000 car and go win. And then just you have to pay entries. Then, then it's entries and, and fuel and costs fuel. and travel, etc. So it's difficult to quantify that cost. But, but it's not, it's not yeah. too much you need for this championship. I mean, uh, you need a car, you need the tires, you need yeah. the fuel. Yeah. Uh, of course, the car is going to be ready. So this, yeah. is, this is it. Well, the trailer and the... Yeah, I mean, some people, <laughs> yeah, it, 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 to, to say motorsport's cheap at any level, it's not. But, you know, when you compare it to other, other championships, we have a real cost-efficient and cost-effective championship. Well, I even um, can compare it to something like Ginetta, the, 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 oh, the, this ha one. half the price of Ginetta. Half <laughs> yeah. the price of MX-5, <laughs> even. But, MX, yeah. Even MX-5, yeah, exactly. Because we, we, we manage the, the engine regulations, so you can't do anything, really. You have to build an engine to the same standard as everybody else. There's no tricks. There's no advantages. Um, so all the cars are same standard. You, you're not allowed to do something with that's, engine. That, that's the goal. The same standard for for every car on the grid. So yeah. it's uh, it's all depend on the driver. He's yeah, winning. Should be yeah. on the driver yeah. technique. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And of so course, if you change tires. <laughs> if you change tires. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that, that that's it in a nutshell. We're being called to the the, the paddock now. So sure, nice. So, and thank you very much. So we'll have to go, Anatoly. Totally. Thank, thank you very much. Nice it was to nice to meet you. you. Thank you. Right guys, so um, just next to me, uh, one of the racing drivers who is racing in BMW Compact Cab. Sorry, what is your name? Keith. 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 Keith, um, can you tell me about the racing simulators? Okay. Are they useful to remember the truck, to learn something about racing, comparing what you have in this racing it's car? A good, it's a good question. I think some of the younger drivers tend to maybe use the, the simulator games. Yeah. PS4 or whatever they can use the track uh, personally I use a lot of video footage so I use other drivers to learn the track and to mentally learn the track and then obviously just coming and, and lapping overlapping testing and then you just learn so it's more a and more praxis more practice, 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 practice. Makes perfect yeah and uh, be before the race before the main day um, to get used uh, to the circuit um, on a practice day um, for the professional drivers, it takes lots of time? Uh, yeah, I mean, for us, obviously, we're racing amateurs. Uh, preparation, getting the car ready, making sure everything is, is exactly how you want it. Yeah, it can, it can take time. It's nice to, to have a day or two to, to make sure and check the car, spanner check the car, check, bolt check the car, make sure everything is perfect. And with the BMWs, um, you have, as I know, you have on a Saturday, you have a practice day? Sometimes, yeah. Normally, it's, it's usually we have a practice on a Saturday afternoon. On a Saturday so afternoon. 35 or 40 minutes, 
And it's, it's good. quite a lot of time. Yeah, it's good, but it, you know you can. Is that split it by uh, 15 minutes? No, by? no, just 40 minutes. Just 40 minutes straight. And it gives you the opportunity, obviously, to. The, uh, this car is okay, 40 minutes straight. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Wow, yeah. <laughs> no, I know what I was thinking. And today you have a uh, qualifying. We qualified this morning. This morning, one, yeah. uh, one qualifying. One qualifying. And then we just had race number one. So yeah. no, race number two at four o'clock. The result for race number one determines where you start race number two. So uh -huh. it's a new format for this year. Uh, so I started 14th, I finished 11th. So for race two, I'm so you moving, you move three places. Exactly. That's nice. Yeah, it will be nice. So hopefully we can do the same again in race two. How how is it difficult to um, overtake in a competitive cars like? Uh, it's this circuit. It's, it's very short. Uh, yeah. The, the lap times are very close, from fourth to twentieth. There's maybe only half a second. So there's there's not much uh, difference in in terms of performance of the cars. This circuit by the design is, is it's easier to defend so you really have to think about making the driver in front either make a mistake or make him defend and then attack and I think have, it's not enough of places where to make to a mistake also. yeah, yeah of course so. of course and uh, I think it's not enough uh, it's not a lot of places where you can make mistake on this circuit I mean it's uh, more flowing it's there's a lot of places to make mistakes, oh, really? really yeah I mean actually yeah because of the speed yeah paddock hill here where we're looking now you know yeah. you, we're going into there at a, a, well in excess of 100 miles an hour I've seen and some of the drivers yeah, it's easy to go off there uh, nice one thank you thank very much you. for no, all the information you. it's good to thank meet you. you nice to thank meet you, you. thank well, you nice. good luck in the second race thank you very much Is it the brake problem? No, I just adjust that. Oh, you're just adjusting it? Yeah, yeah. So you can do different adjustments? Yeah, it's just for the handbrake side of things. And uh, what, what, what kind of adjustment are you doing now, if it's not a secret? No, 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 it's just general. Just, oh, just general? Yeah, just um, yeah, just check over and reassessment. Just make oh. sure everything's all right, basically. Yeah, nothing secret about this. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think uh, racing simulators is that a good something to learn the racing circuit racing line? Absolutely, absolutely. If I think you will relate to it more if you've already driven a car around the circuit, because um, you can go back. I've, I have used simulator, simulators before, uh -huh. um, and I find them extremely useful. Um, no doubt, no question about it. You can go faster. What about uh, simulator braking accelerating? Because I couldn't, I couldn't feel that properly. And, and the turning ends. Yeah, I, th I think that it, it, it is difficult. I, I know what you're saying. Um, it, it gets sitting on a simulator and then sitting in my car. It's going to yeah. be two completely different things. But it gives you, it gra you can grasp everything you need to from the circuit. Um, a proper simulator as well will give you the fine tuning that you, you can. And with a belt driven steering wheels and all those sorts of things, you can get some sort of idea of what it's going to feel like. At least that gives you, it puts your head in the seat before the weekend. I got it. So, so the, it's a psychological thing. Yeah. So, so simulators. It's uh, uh, the. Let's agree that this is the best way to learn the circuit. Yeah. Not, not the car behavior. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You can learn the cir circuit on computers, uh, whether it be a simulator or even something is um, a, li a little bit cheaper for some people. You know, on, on like a like a uh, you know an Xbox or a PlayStation things like that. Uh, they're all great for for that. Um, that gives you at least you know which way around you gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about uh, your BMW, about uh, this this car. What is the driving uh, technique? You know, what, where is the maybe some secrets in the corners? <laughs> Honestly, I I don't. The what the the one thing with these cars because we're all in the same boat. Everything is uh, same engine, same ECU, same roll cages, same tires, etc. It's so tight. Uh, you need to really push the boundaries. Of physics really um, mid corner entry the cars are so it doesn't look at, when you stand here and watch it from from paddock yeah to, to for you to actually be in there and watch it looks normal it looks stable yeah in there that the car is doing all sorts of things and you're, it's, it's, you're yeah, catching yeah. it the whole, it's four wheels four wheels sliding into the corner you're back in the car in under brakes especially at paddock don't going down the hill there's so much going on so many senses and your, your, your mind's doing all sorts of things but it's just momentum yeah I'll be honest with you I've done lots of karting practice session and, and you know when you've done something uh, 
some kind of racing. Uh, yeah. So I could see that these BMWs, you, I could see that the drivers are really yeah, f- fighting them, you know, yeah, they're absolutely, especially in a paddock band, you know. It, yeah. it, it, you can see that there is a driver who are very professional yeah. and they catching the car but yeah. there is a driver who still keeps sliding you you can't see the normal spectator i think he can't see it no. but the racing driver he will notice that Any, anyone that's done any form of track time or, or sim, even simulator work to be honest with you yeah they're, they're, they're going to be able to sit stand there and look up at paddock and see the car moving around and and understand what appreciate what the, the driver's having to put up with in there and, and deal with um, but the, the, ultimately, because everything is they're low-powered cars and they're just well set up, the car has to be driven to its absolute limit. Equipment like this, you can rent Team Car SJW. SJW. Can you tell me what you think about simulator? Is that a good way to learn um, the truck, or yeah. maybe it's a good way to learn the car behavior? Yeah, you know. Pers- personally, I've never done any simulator racing so I don't know but I've got friends that do do it uh-huh. and say it's really good so so they said that the it's worth it, yeah. simulator is worth it to learn the apparently so I've never done it but friends that race these are into online gaming and they do do it and say it's worth you know ah, so it's even not the simulator it's even not on the Xbox or yeah, PlayStation yeah, yeah, something yeah, like absolutely, this yeah. and they yeah. said it's really yeah. worth it yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Thank that time. Yeah, uh, sorry, what's your name? Uh, Stephen Daly. Uh, Stephen Daly, I- I'm on the Tory channel, IRS Wolf. Can you tell me a little bit, um, of course, congratulations with the winning. You won two rounds today, yeah? Yes, yes, uh, I, won, uh, won, uh, I won two rounds today. Uh, really happy with that. Kisi Motorsport, that's who runs the car, uh, do a fantastic job. Kisi Motorsport, so we're, we're quite happy with that. So this is your team, Kisi Yeah, that's, that's, that's the team that this car runs. Uh, they, they basically own this car and... and look after it for me and make sure it's 110 percent you you know what question i have um i am today wondering i'm going around drivers and i'm asking what is the best way to prepare for the circuit doesn't matter you know the circuit or you don't know the circuit what is the best way to prepare for the race i i have a a simulator at home you know a simulator so i mean i've got every track brands hatch netterton i've got all the british tracks available so i mean i do a lot of training at home you know, you know what I mean. Also, keeping fit in the gym and things like that—that that, that really helps in terms the, of the, endurance. The simulator, which is with the steering wheel, every yes. professional. Yes. And yes. steering wheel has the same um, movements like in the real yeah, car. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not exactly the same. You don't have as much fear. You know, you don't have as much fear on the simulator. To as make a do. mistake. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But obviously, this it teaches you a lot about consistency and 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 just pace in general, just lap times and. And the, and the racing line, of, of course, course, you learn course racing does, line. Yeah, yeah. You know what, this is exactly what I want to talk about because I've done just a few days ago, I've done um, some simulator practice sessions, yeah. you know, at Let's Race. And uh, for me, it was really interesting. Um, are they quite um, similar to the reality? Yeah, I, th- I, th- I think they are. I mean, they're racing guys online. Um, and these guys online are really, really quick. You mean uh, th- there's, there's guys? I mean, I can win a race here in real life, but there's w- there's races online that I can't I can't win because the guys are so fast. You know what I mean? So it's very, very good training for me. It teaches you a lot of consistency and. and so for drivers, beginners, you would suggest that the uh, simulators is really good to learn. Yeah, the definitely, definitely. Simulators is perfect. It's perfect for for people. <laughs> 
So here we are guys we found more information about racing driving about simulators and I'm gonna wrap up week number nine right at this moment where everyone packing up and ready to go home I'm gonna stay here at the Brian Hatch for a bit more to listen to this amazing beautiful racing noises and then I will start week number eight see ya Mm-hmm.